Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Juan Piscina and thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel, Piscina Music. Today I'm going to be doing another YouTube tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to try to do a different technique in my recording. So hopefully it sounds better and it looks better for those people who have said that they can't see my fingers, they can't see the keys. I'm going to do my best to emphasize uh, the keys that I use and to enlarge this so that you can see what I do. So today we're going to do the song God of Revival from Bethel Music written by um, Phil Wickham and Brian Johnson. On the YouTube video where they uploaded the song, the song is done in the key of D flat major. D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, and D flat. When you get this, actually, um, you can actually get the chord sheets from BethelMusic.com. And, but they have it in C sharp major, which would be C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. And a lot of you guys are not used to um, playing with um, E sharps and B sharps, which is basically an F and a C. So that's why I like to use the inharmonic key, which is um, the D flat major because every letter has its very different sound, um, has a distinct sound to it. And so that I've seen a lot of people when they put in the key of C sharp, they go C sharp, D sharp, F, and then F sharp. That's not correct. It's a little bit confusing when um, you're trying to read it like that. So in the scale, in the key of D flat, every single note name has its own specific tone, which is very important. All right, so I'm gonna to try to play the song and sing it. Um, recently, I've been going through a very terrible cough, so my 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 voice has been very affected. But I'm gonna try my best, um, and please forgive me for intonation um, or if I just randomly cough. Um, just forgive me, and pray for me so that God heals me. I've been praying for that. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so God of Revival, key of D flat major. And I'm going to do it at 72 BPM, um, four four times. So the intro, the intro is going to consist of four chords, which is going to be G flat, G flat, B flat, and D flat. Four beats of that. Then we're going to go into D flat, which is D flat, F, and A flat. Then B flat minor, B flat, D flat, F, and you can add the A flat for um, a little bit of color, and then A flat, A flat, C, and E flat. So the intro melody um, that's done on piano is very simple. The moment that the chord hits on that um, G flat, it's gonna start with this specific melody on the keys, which when you hit that G flat, you're gonna go at the same time with this A flat. It's gonna be A flat, B flat, and then D flat. So it goes like this. Very simple. And then you're gonna go up to this F when you switch to the D flat, and then E flat. So in tempo, we'll be like this. Now, same exact thing we do on uh, when we hit that B flat minor chord, the same thing on the melody with the right hand. Except now, instead of waiting until the A flat to hit this F, we're gonna hit it before and then resolve on the a, um, E flat on the A flat. So like this. Very simple. So the first time the melody is done, the F is with the D flat. The second time, the E flat lands on the chord. So like this. Very simple. 
So the verse, the verse one and verse two use the same chord progression and the piano plays under it um, as the singer goes in. I am not, I'm just gonna show you the little intro in, um, but I'm not gonna play and sing at the same time. I'm just gonna hold the chords so that you know what to do when you are you know, holding these chords as you're singing. So I'll go like this. We see what you can do, O oh God of wonders. Your power holds no end. things you've done before in greater measure what you will do again that's how verse one goes so now pre-chorus um chords are going to be the same chords that we're going to use just the d flat is going to be switched with the b flat minor what do i mean by that first four measure first four beats of the first measure first measure will be g flat then you're gonna to go to B flat minor. After that, you're gonna to go to D flat. And then you're gonna to go to A flat. So the only difference between verse one and the pre-chorus is that the B flat minor is the second chord in the pre-chorus, while in verse one, the B flat minor is the third chord. And the D flat is the third chord on the pre-chorus and the second chord in verse one and verse two. So, how does this um, pre-chorus go? The, very simple. You can, you know, just play these chords. You don't have to do it exact. But that's a very good um, option on how to do that. So, pre-chorus. Well, I'm going to go from the things you've done before, which is the second half of verse 1. The things you've done before in greater measure what well, you will do again Pre-chorus Cause there's no prison wall you can't break through No mountain you can move All things are possible There's no So after you hold that, um, oh, things are possible, then we're going to go to the chorus. The chorus now has passing chords. So it's the same chord structure as the, um, as the pre-chorus, the same exact chord structure, meaning every measure is going to have, you know, that same chord progression um, that we had in the pre-chorus. So every measure, when you start the measure, so that's one, two, three, Four, the second measure is going to have that B flat, B flat minor. Third measure is going to start with D flat. And fourth measure would be on the A flat. The only difference is now is between each chord, there's going to be a passing chord. What is a passing chord? It's just a chord that passes to the next chord. So here what they do is, um, and one way to easily understand passing chords is that it's you're following a movement. So we're going to get to this D flat. I mean, sorry, this G flat mi major to get to this B flat minor. So on the bass, we have this A flat that's in between that we can go up as in a scale um, to get into that B flat minor. So you go G flat and then A flat, B minor, B flat minor. Now from this B flat minor, the next chord is this D flat. So we have this C that is right under it. So if we want to follow, we want to follow um, building a chord that is in the key of D flat. So what they did is that they still used an A flat quality chord, but now it's in the first inversion, meaning making it an A flat over C. That is A flat, but instead of A flat on the bottom, it's going to be a C on the bottom to lead 
to the D flat. And then you're gonna go to A flat. And then it repeats again. So go. Very simple. If you go from the pre-chorus where it goes all things are possible to go to the next, um, to go to the chorus, all things are possible. Now in the, in the YouTube video or in the song, he goes up to this high E flat. So things are possible. So that melodically he can just go down to uh, the darkest night. The darkest night. And then go up following um, the melody and the chord progression. So it goes like this. Well, things are possible. The dark is dark. Well, you can light it up. Oh, you can light it up. The oh, God of revival. Let hope arise. Oh, death is overcome. Oh, you already won. Oh, God of revival. So after that chorus you're going to go into verse two so i'm god of revival so then now we do what we did previously but instead of the piano only having this um melodic line you're gonna have it also on the guitar if you want it really is up to you guys and how you guys arrange it so verse two you rose in victory and now you're seated forever on the throne. So why should my heart fear what you defeated? I would trust in you alone. Cause there's no prison wall you can't break through. There's no broken body you can raise, no soul that you can't save. All things are possible. The dark is night. Oh, you can light it up. Oh, you can light it up. And etc. When you go to the bridge, it's very simple. You're gonna hold four measures of D flat. That's when it breaks it down. And that's just four measures. Actually, it could be two, it could be four, it could be A. If you guys wanna take that time to speak to the congregation, it's really up to you guys. But when it comes to the, the bridge, it's gonna be two, three chords, just three chords. D flat, D flat, F, A flat, B flat minor, you can add the A flat, the seventh, and then A flat. Very simple. And it goes like this. Come awaken your people. Come awaken your city. Oh God of revival, pour it out, pour it out. Every stronghold will crumble. Hear the chains hit the ground Oh God of revival, pour it out, pour it out Now the second time they do the bridge, they're gonna build And it's gonna go up an octave So it goes On this 
A flat, instead of jumping directly into the chorus, they add a measure of an A flat to go back to the chorus. So go like this. So guys, that's how you do the song, Got a Revival. It's very simple. Um, if you want to do an instrumental, I recommend you do the instrumental from the chorus. So it's just not sung. And maybe you could do something like on the lines with the keys, for example. Sometimes we do that in my church where we'll just, if the pianist or the keyboard player or the guitar player, they know the melody, whoever knows the melody, we'll we sometimes allow them to actually um, have that moment and minister um, the heart of God with them in the melody. It doesn't actually have to be exactly like the album. But, you know, we try our best. All right, guys, so um, if you like this, uh, this tutorial, like the video, share it to your team members um, if you guys are doing the song. And kudos to Brian Johnson and um, Phil Wickham for doing such a beautiful song. And hopefully this tutorial helps you guys out and playing it for your congregations. So thank you guys. Until next time, God bless.